guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm giving you an in-depth look at the science curriculum we are going to be using for the upcoming homeschool year, the 2024-2025 homeschool year for my fourth grader. So this upcoming school year, we decided to use Moving Beyond the Page for our science curriculum. Moving Beyond the Page is a unit literature-based curriculum. So for the entire year, my fourth grader will complete six science units. Now, the way that it works with moving me on the page, she actually rotates between science units and social studies units. So she will work on a science unit for about three weeks and then she will switch to a social studies unit. So um, these six will take her through her entire homeschool year, but she will have breaks in between working on them. If you're not familiar with moving me on the page, this is what their units look like. Um, so there are six of these units for her age level, fourth grade, she's using the eight to 10. These are at this age level written toward the parent. So this is like your teacher's guide, plus it has all the student activity pages. If you wanna learn more about moving me on the page, I've done tons of videos, we've done tons of their units. I always have that playlist down below. So for this fourth grade year, her first unit is going to be Dirts and Plants. Um, this is a literature-based curriculum, so most of the time there is a book that pairs up. So this book, Dirt, is what she will be reading through as she completes the Dirt and Plants unit. Obviously, throughout this unit, she's going to be learning about different types of plants, germination, photosynthesis, decom um, decomposing, there are different activities in the science curriculum. I am going to actually purchase the science kits from Moving Me on the Page just so I don't have to worry about having all the different things that she needs. So there are experiments, there are lots of hands-on activities, and I highly recommend getting those science kits so you have all of the materials that you need. There are fun activities talking about soil, the different types of plants. There are writing activities. There are experiments that they're going to be completing. We're gonna do a little lesson on seeds, it looks like, pollination. We're gonna be talking about the cycle of plants. Photosynthesis, there's a little mini quiz. There's a lesson on trees measuring trees, evergreens, and it looks like a tree graph, tree life circle, decomposers, plants, animals, and people. And there is a final project where your child is going to be creating a new series of plants and there is a plant quiz at the end. The next science unit is ecosystems and ecology. This one is a standalone unit. There's no additional literature um, needed in this one. In this unit, we're gonna be talking obviously about our ecosystems, a consumer, a decomposer, um, symbiosis relationships, renewable and non-renewable resources, wind power, solar power, hydropower, and pollution. So a lot of different topics, and it's a very good transition from the dirt and plants unit. We are talking about the different types of ecosystems, the different types of natural resources, what is renewable, non-renewable. We are talking about the elements, earth, water, um, needs versus wants, different animal uh, modifications or adaptations that they may make, observing an ecosystem. Um, there's some different little fun activities about recycling and reusing. Um, you can make a environment t-shirt and then a final project they are going to be designing their own ecosystem with a diorama i absolutely love dioramas and that sounds like such a fun project the next science lesson or unit is going to be on magnetism and electricity and they will be or she will be reading this book a true book physical science electricity and magnetism in this unit again it looks like there are lots of fun activities we're going to be learning about magnetic fields mag magnetic poles force atoms circuits electricity conductors currents electrons protons static electricity electromagnetic um, lots of materials needed again that is why i am getting that science kit so i don't even have to worry 
Um, there's going to be some different experiments using magnets. I know that's going to be really fun. They're going to be doing experiments with magnetic shields. In this as well, I like that there's some different things like the Earth's um, core and building a compass. So even though this is science, there's definitely some geography elements in here. We're going to be learning about atoms. Um, we have some vocabulary in here. So one of my favorite things about moving beyond the page is even if you're doing something like a science unit, there are also other subjects included. Like this one, there is geography, there is language arts, um, there's just critical thinking skills, creativity. And so I absolutely love these units. They're going to make a circuit. They're gonna turn it into a parallel circuit. They're gonna be talking about light, heat, and sound. They're gonna be doing an experiment with cereal. It looks like they're gonna be making like a little book to go along with stuff. And their final project in this is on, they're going to be taking a test and creating a magnetism and electri electricity mobile. The next science unit is Forces of Motion, and they're going to be reading the book, The Gripping Truth About Forces and Motions, which it looks like a fun, cute, kind of like little graphic comic type book. It looks silly. In Forces of Nature, they're going to be learning about physics, force, gravity, inertia, friction, centripetal force, air friction, potential energy, pressure, earthquake, glaciers, and volcanoes. They're going to be looking at things that they do around the house, forces at work. They're going to be learning about shoes and friction, experimenting with friction, the laws of motion. They're going to be making a rocket. They're gonna be learning about projectiles, energy, um, whether it's potential energy, kinetic energy, thermal energy. We're gonna follow the energy path. Again, we're labeling the earth, which is again, kind of a carryover. There is the final project where they are going to be taking a quiz and making the three laws of motion. Um, it looks like maybe a poster, a slideshow. So this one, it's really cool. They're gonna be making a slideshow presentation which I think is really cool and a really good skill to have. The next one is going to be rocks and minerals, and they're gonna be using this Everything Rocks and Min Minerals National Geographic book. I'm really excited for this one because we did um, kind of dabble in learning about rocks and minerals in our science this year, but obviously this one's gonna go a lot more in depth. They're gonna be learning about minerals, geology, magma, different rocks and rock cycles, weathering, erosion, crystals, geodes, volcanoes, and earthquakes, and fun with fossil. They're going to do a mineral chart, a graph. They're going to do some experiments with the different types of rocks and the rock cycle. They are going to have different games, volcanoes. They're gonna be learning about moving plates, tectonic plates, volcano eruptions, volcano mist. They're going to be doing fossils. And then their final project um, is a paleontologist raft. The child gets to choose between a personal letter or a PowerPoint presentation to complete. And there is a final quiz. So they get to, again, prepare a presentation and a project about um, what they have learned in this unit. Unit five is on animal adaptations, and we are using the book, How Do Animals Adapt, which I think is really cool. We love learning about animals. All the uh, different species and variety of animals is going to be really fun in this unit. We are going to learn about um, both behavioral adaptations and physical adaptations. We're gonna be learning about climates and blubber, ecolocation, camouflage we're going to be learning about herbivores carnivores and reproduction we're going to be learning about predators and prey we're going to be learning about aquatic adaptations which include amphibians filter feeders bioluminescent animals and we're also going to be learning about extinct animals and endangered species um, we're going to learn about why animals have certain things and what it is used for, what would you need to survive, um, behavioral versus physical adaptations, uh, staying cool in the desert, staying warm in the Arctic. So we're learning too about like the different biomes 
um, and how to adapt to different climates, how to adapt to living um, in you know the dark or super bright places, learning about water, earth, and sky, um, different camouflaging techniques. They're gonna do some experiments. We're learning about different habitats. We are learning about eggs and babies and other ways animals have babies. We're going into some aquatic um, adaptations. And then their final project, they are going to create a new animal species and they have a quiz. I cannot wait for them to create a new animal species. All right, our last unit, um, which we will be wrapping up our science for next school year is works, tools, and simple machines. There's no additional book that is needed with this unit. Um, this is going to cover um, the sci scientists, um, how they define the word work with force. We're going to be talking about the six simple machines, um, a lever, a pulley, a wedge, screw, wheel and axle, and inclined plane, and just go into the those simple machines. And so they're going to do different experiments about force, um, being able to identify those simple machines, finding them in our home, um, then going on to complex machines. And so this is really fun. I think they're going to be able to see, you know, things that are, are day to day, but understand like the basic things with it. It looks like we're going to have some like bingo games, solving work problems, um, the change of machines over time. And the final project is presenting, they can either, um, they're gonna be making a poster and they're gonna have a demonstration with that. So it sounds like a fun project. So that was an in-depth look at my fourth graders upcoming science for next school year. So again, she'll be completing these units. I am getting the science kits directly from Moving Beyond the Page because there's a lot of stuff required. I have two kids doing two separate, or actually I have three kids doing three separate science curriculums with three different types of experiments going on. And so I definitely needed to make my life as easy as possible. So um, once I get those science kits, if you guys want a video on those, um, and then obviously once we start using these units next year, I'll be sharing more. But if you have any questions or anything I can explain, please leave those down below in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this. I'm doing in-depth videos for all language art, social studies, science for my fourth grader and my sixth grader. So those videos will be coming out so you can get an in-depth look at all the units we will be completing next school year. That's all I got guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we will chat soon. Bye guys.